My name's Mel and as you can see from the title, in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys 20 gift ideas for her. It's finally December and I don't know about you guys but I haven't done all of my Christmas shopping yet. So if you're in the same position as me, take this video as some inspiration for her, whether that be your girlfriend, your friend, your auntie or your sister. I've got you covered. So gift idea number one is a piece of jewellery from Pandora, whether this be a bracelet or a ring, some earrings or even a charm for a bracelet. Pandora's got everything that a girl wants. My best friend actually got me a Pandora. No, no, you can see. It's so pretty. It's a little teardrop. But yeah, they've got so many ideas and so many different prices. Gift idea number two is an Instax camera. These things are so good, especially if the girl travels. Well, not even just travels, if she wants to just make memories. They're portable. They are a bit of an investment, but they are super cool, super good and long wearing. No. Gift idea number three is a photo book that's personalised. You can find these on free prints and I know that us girls we really really do like the personalised gifts as they're a bit more meaningful to us and we like to treasure them. Talking about personalisation, another gift idea can be a handmade photo collage. This is even better because it's all handmade, we know that you spent time on it and make her know that she's worth your time. Gift idea number five is a big Yankee candle. I know that not everyone likes candles, but if you know that person and you know that she likes candles, it's always gonna be a good idea. You can never have enough candles. Gift idea number six incorporates both the candle and personalizing your gift. On the Yankee Candle website, you can actually personalize the big candles and put a picture of either you and that person, or you can just put a picture that means so much to them. I know that I'd be happy if I got one. Gift idea number seven is makeup. I know that not everybody wears makeup. If they do, then you can either buy them some new products or you could save them some money and buy them what they're actually already needing. This depends how well you know the person. If you live with the person or they're your girlfriend, then it's gonna be a lot easier. If you don't know what they want, you could easily just go for an eyeshadow palette. An affordable one and a really good quality one is Morphe. You could get NYX products or NYX. You could go to MAC and get a product from there. And you can find some other really good products on Jeffree Star's website and also P. Louise. Another gift that never fails is pyjamas. All girls love pyjamas. You can get these at a more expensive price like Victoria's Secret or you can get at a lower price like Primark or maybe Asda, they have some nice ones. You could go all out and get slippers, pyjamas and a dressing gown or you could just get cute little sets. Us girls really love fragrances, or most of us at least, so you could find out what her favourite perfume is and buy her that, or you could just surprise her. Perfumes come at all different prices and they can be quite costly. However, these are from Next and they are absolutely amazing. They're my most complimented perfumes. They're called Just Pink and it comes in a set, they come together and sometimes you also get a miniature version I am running out unfortunately I think these are priced at around 12 to 14 pounds per set so it's really good for the money and it smells beautiful depending on who the person is it can be a build up there not everybody likes teddy bears but I know that if I got a teddy bear then I'd be over the moon this could be really good for younger relatives as well because who doesn't love a teddy bear? <laughs> depending on the type of person that you're buying for the COVID situation and where you are in the world, you could buy the other person some tickets for the cinema or a theatre. You could buy them for her and somebody else or you could buy them for yourself and that person so that you're spending some time over Christmas with them and or save them for whenever you want really. And they're just something sentimental that you create memories and yeah. Talking about creating memories, you could also take her out for a meal. You could take her to a restaurant. If it's someone younger, you could just take them to McDonald's or somewhere that they really, really want to go. At the end of the day, it's just about spending time with that person, creating memories, having a laugh, and just enjoying each other's company. Another gift idea that's definitely gonna leave some memories is a spa day. I know that I need a spa day. Oh my God, I just want a massage. I just want to feel, I don't know. <laughs> a spa day, you could book it for herself, for somebody else as well, or for yourself as well, whatever. Just let her feel like a princess and a queen. Shoes. Shoes come in all shapes, sizes, varieties, colours, whatever. 
but some good ideas that you could get her are Doc Martens. I know that they're very, very, very popular right now. You could get some heels if she wears heels. You could get trainers or you could get some canvas shoes like Vans. Some shoes that are never going to fail are simply Nike Air Force. Come on. However, shoes can be quite expensive. So depending on how much you want to spend on them and yeah, you can, if it's just heels, you can find some from Primark if you don't want to spend too much on them. If it's someone younger, then the shoes are generally going to be cheaper, so that's something to look for, out for. I actually do get my shoes in the junior section because I'm a size 4, so yeah! <laughs> look, this gift idea isn't going to be everyone's cup of tea, but flowers or plants is a very good option. For me, I love flowers, I also love plants. However, my mum doesn't like flowers as a gift, she prefers plants, so it'd be a good idea to see whether that person would actually appreciate flowers or they'd rather have a plant. Another gift idea that I would be absolutely over the moon with receiving is some nail polish. There's a really good brand called Nails Inc and they do a real nail polish. It literally looks like gel when it goes on. This nail polish is actually this. I don't know how to say the name, but it's amazing. I'm gonna put a little picture up for you guys so that you can check that out. And a ring light. A ring light is never gonna be a bad gift idea because if the person that you're buying a gift for isn't taking pictures, filming, or anything else that requires a bright light, then getting a ring light might be a really good idea for them. Ring lights can be quite expensive and it'd be a good idea to check out Amazon. It depends on what kind of ring light you want. You can get smaller ones or you can get ones that are freestanding and they're quite big. It also depends on the perimeter of the circle of the ring light, but yeah. Gift idea number 18 is a self-care box. This one is my personal favourite because it shows that person that not only do you care about them but you care about their well-being. In the boxes you can include self-care items such as face masks, body scrubs, shower gels, body wash, bubble bath, bath crystals, deodorants, perfumes, their favourite chocolates, their favourite sweets, books. You could also put a little quote book in there so that they can read quotes every day that inspire them and make them feel positive. The good thing about these self-care boxes is that they range in prices so you can spend as much as you like on them. It's really flexible in that sense. I think it's also a good idea to put a photo of you and them in there and also write a little note for them just to show that you actually care about how they're feeling, understand that this has been difficult, just to show them that you actually care about them as a person and how they're feeling, and so that they know that someone is there for them. Here's idea number 19 is again a little bit more meaningful, and this is a personalised pillow. I don't think there's anything better than coming home and seeing a memory of that person if they mean so much to you, and it's just sitting in your house, on your bed, at home. It'll be a memory that provides lots of happiness when you look at it, and it also means something to us when we get something that takes a little bit of time or it's personalised, and we know that you're trying to, you know, make us happy. And the final gift idea is a holiday! <laughs> it depends how much you're willing to spend on that person or the type of holidays that that person enjoys. My best friend actually likes to solo travel and she likes to have cheap flights. So for example, what I would do is I'd just see where she wants to go and I'd buy her a cheap flight. If perhaps it got cancelled due to COVID, then she would get reimbursed that money and she can use that money to book another flight. On the other hand, you can just book a holiday for you both if you want to spend a little bit more money and again, She's going to appreciate that. So there you have it, 20 Christmas ideas for her. These can also be used for birthdays or any other events that you want to buy a gift. But as it's the festive season, I thought I'd drop it in here right now to give you guys some inspiration and hopefully you guys can finish your Christmas shopping. So I hope that I've been some help to you guys and I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Ciao guys!